Hello, I've got another little wild food I'd like to show you here. So again, we're we're on a ride, a track, so we've got a little bit more sky above us and a little bit more light reaching the woodland floor. So that's always a good place to look for wildflowers and plants. And if we have a look down here, we can see this towering, what will soon be a flower spike. The flowers are just forming. And this plant is called bugle. In Latin, it's a jugo reptans. You'll find it in lots of wild food books. And it's usually described as having a crest-like flavor. Um, I don't mind cress, however, in my experience, I suppose it is cress-like, and now there comes the bit I really don't like, which is a much more powerful um, bitter taste that kicks in afterwards. It's not unbearable, um, but I certainly wouldn't um, put large amounts of it in my salad. Uh, unless I was very hungry and there was nothing else. But the interesting thing when you run a wild food course is you can have 10 people taste a plant and they all can interpret that slightly differently. And invariably you'll have three say they really have a strong opinion one way or the other, like it or hate it. Um, another few who are indifferent and, and some others who have a strong opinion the other way. So I think our, our own personal tastes do vary quite a lot. Certainly that's my experience when people are trying things. Um, but historically speaking i think our palates would have been used to a lot less sugar and salt than um, we have today because of our fairly horrendous processed diets and i think we would have been more used to bitter flavors because um when you look at a modern diet there's, there's not a lot of competition by companies trying to make stuff more bitter to make it more desirable they have however over decades and decades added more and more sugar and more and more salt and i think that's probably changed if not changed our palates, it's changed our expectations of what things should taste like. So some wild foods seem probably more bitter to us than they would have done to most people that ever ate them. And perhaps this is one of those, I don't know. But this is Bugle, a Juga reptans, quite abundant now, so it'll be in flower shortly. At the moment, if you see purple flowers about, um, that'll be ale hoof along the rides, and this is going to come out into flower um, in a little while. Okay, so that's Bugle.